Hi everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is about heat base and understanding what that means inside of the glass. One of the things that takes flameworking novices a long time to learn is how the heat behaves inside the glass. And this is because you can't see it. You can only see the surface of the glass. And the hotter the glass gets, the harder it is to see what's going on inside. But often, it's what's underneath that determines how the glass behaves. Today, we're going to do a simple exercise to demonstrate this. In the video, you won't be able to see what's happening inside. So I've created a diagram which we will examine first, and then try out our idea on a hot piece of glass. When the glass is being heated, the glass absorbs heat from the outside in. This means that as long as the glass is in the flame being heated, the outside will always be hotter than the inside. As soon as the glass is taken out of the flame, the process reverses. At first, the heat equalizes and the inside and outside are very close to the same temperature. But then the glass begins to cool. Just as it does when heating up, glass cools down from the outside in. Because of this, it develops a skin of glass at the surface that is cooler than what is underneath. Let's say we have a bend in a rod and we want to change the shape to a sharper 90 degree angle. We have to get the glass hot, of course, but then the timing of our manipulation is critical. Once the glass is hot, a punty is used to tag the bend and pull it into the desired shape. But if we do that too soon, before the glass develops its skin, the surface of the glass pulls away while the bend does not change shape. But if we wait just a few seconds after taking the glass out of the flame, the glass develops its skin. And then if we tag the bend and pull, the cooler skin resists pulling while the hotter underlying glass is still malleable. Therefore, the entire bend pulls into the desired shape. Okay, we have our bend. Now we're going to get it hot. Get a real deep base of heat. Okay, it's nice and hot now. Let's try and pull it out. And you can see that the skin pulls out. That's not what we want. So we'll heat that little goober back into the glass and restore our bend. This time we're going to let it cool. So it forms a skin. And as you can see, pulls the whole shape out right into that nice square shape that we want. Like that. This concept of glass growing a skin applies to almost every action you take with hot glass, whether it's hollow or solid, whether it's something simple like pulling a stringer or blowing a bubble or something much more complex. Since glass cools at a very consistent rate, the nature of the skin and the heat base is predictable and controllable. We'll be returning to this concept again and again in future videos, so be sure to check back here often. As always, like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.